get it. What's up, Aries Entourage? It's your girl, Erica, in the cut with the clutch new video. Guys, I am back today with a new video, and I know y'all excited because I know you read the title, and it's telling you I'm giving y'all 10 binge-worthy Netflix shows because, y'all, I've been the one looking for shows to watch and couldn't find nothing, so I'm like, let me share it with my people. You know what I mean? So let's just go on and get into this video because I know y'all trying to get to Netflix probably. So I'm going to start off with how to get away with murder if y'all have not watched how to get away with murder what are you doing literally what are you doing how to get away with murder has to be one of the best written shows ever like i have to give it to shonda rhimes y'all because when i say she killed it it just keeps you so drawn in from the jump because it shows you the ending and then it starts from the beginning so it makes you want to know like wait how did we get to that point you know what i mean so it was fire. I loved that show. I love that show, actually. So go ahead on and check that out if you haven't already, okay? Next, I'm going to have to throw out Dynasty. I don't know. Dynasty was a very, very good show. I'm not sure um, how many people probably have watched it or not, but I loved it. And I just happened to come across it. I just clicked on it one day and ended up watching it, like, every day, all day. Like, you know, so it was a very, very good show. Um, it was basically like two different families kind of battling. They were rich, um, basically battling for the dynasty. You know how that goes. And it was just a lot of secrets and different things that just came up along the way. It was definitely worth watching. So if y'all haven't watched that, go ahead and check that out too. Next on the list, I have Riverdale. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was very late watching Riverdale myself because I mean I had heard about it but I don't know it just didn't strike me I was just like I don't care you know and finally I was just like let me just go and see what the hype is actually about and when I went to check it out it was really really good like it's basically a small town um just a very normal town middle class some people you know rich some people you know just regular and then like some crazy stuff just started happening that never have happened in town they kind of threw everybody off and there was these like high school kids who were trying to like keep the peace and also fix things so it was just it was really really good so y'all if you haven't watched that go ahead on and watch it i'm actually still watching it myself so yeah if you haven't checked that out go ahead because it was it was really good all right and next on the list i have black lightning okay y'all so when it comes to black lightning it took me a while to get into that as well because i've seen so many promotions about it i even follow the girls on instagram y'all know i'm an actress so i love my black sisters period but i was just like i'm really not here for no superhero stuff like i'm too old all it is and i finally was just like go ahead on and check it out so when i went to go check it out y'all it was good good like it's not too superstitious or it's like not all about anime or anything like that like it shows a lot of humanity as well as that so it made it like a good mixture of both and i really enjoyed it so if you haven't checked that out make sure you go ahead and check that out as well all right so next on my list i have all american if y'all haven't seen that that was so good it was so good it's basically about um this guy he was a football player and he came from like a rough side of town and he was going to school at this super like nice school and you know very uppity and he was basically trying to balance both sides of life because he had a lot going on back home with his friends family and everything and then trying to battle like having friends on this side and you know having a loyalty to his new football team and things like that it turned out being a really really good show y'all so if you haven't checked that out you really missing out that was a good show so go ahead and check that out too all right and next um i have turn up charlie i'm not sure how many people don't watch that or not but i really like turn up charlie turn up charlie so charlie was um idris elba and it was very different from like idris elba other kind of shows you know what i mean so he was basically a dj and just trying to you know struggling artists trying to make it and he was from he was african so he had like if you guys don't know african parents are something else about being successful like it can be really 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 <laughs> really hard to be struggling um as an african 
son or daughter it's an african person because you have a lot on you and a lot you know people are holding you up to a certain level and you hold yourself as well so when you're struggling and it's looking a little hard for you which is everybody as well but it's just another kind of burden <laughs> when you're an african person because i have a lot of like friends who are you know of course i'm african but i just don't know where i'm from but <laughs> yeah i'm african-american but black but yes i have a lot of african friends who are born there so yeah but yeah it was a really good show um very interesting very diverse i loved it so go check that out as well um next i'm gonna have to throw out there queen of the south y'all if you're not watching that i really don't know what you're doing <laughs> i really don't know what you're doing with your life because queen of the south was so good it was about a lady she was a very sweet lady and she just kind of got brought into all of this kind of craziness y'all like it's like drugs money that kind of thing you know and yeah i'm not even gonna give it away go and check it out it was really really good so that's definitely worthy you would not regret it okay period and next i have on the list raising dion so the way i came about watching raising dion is because i was just scrolling down twitter and i seen somebody say uh people are hyping up raising dion it wasn't that good um i don't know it was just basically kind of Oh, and Shane on Raising Dion. And I was like, I'm not going for it. I want my own opinion. So I went to go watch it and I liked it. It was similar to Black Lightning. Well, not similar, but it was um like a superhero type of show as well. And it was a little boy and his mom. Um, his dad had went missing a while ago. And the son found out he had powers. It was such a good show. Like, and the ending kind of threw me off because I didn't expect it at all. So it's definitely worth it watching y'all go and check it out you know don't be letting people tell y'all it's not good but no check it out and let me know what you feel about it okay because i liked it all right so next on the list i have the night shift y'all so this show this was really good so it's basically about working night shift at a hotel I like, oh the hotel i used to work night shift at a hotel it's about working night shift at a hospital it gets crazy y'all and i came across watching it because i was getting my nails done with my best friend and the lady just kind of had that show on like i guess she was watching it and we happened to like it like after we were watching it there so we want to start watching it too y'all it's very good i think i check that out okay and then lastly i have good girls y'all that show i really really liked that show because it was three different ladies that were so different like but they were friends and they was just trying to survive you know trying to get money to be able to live comfortably and the way they went about it was crazy so it just became very funny and they just got in some funny situations and it was just it was a fun show like it wasn't too dramatic it was funny you know so i really enjoyed that as well all right, and it looks like that's my list, y'all. Let me know if y'all already watched some of these shows, you know, because I know some of y'all probably have. If you liked it, comment below. If you didn't like it, let me know what you didn't like about it. But just make sure y'all comment and give me some ideas because I also need some more shows to watch. I just wanted to share what I have watched with you guys and, you know, just in case y'all haven't watched it. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Make sure you follow my social media. Yes, I'm on Instagram at Erica Lene as well as Twitter. So yes, y'all follow my social media and thank y'all so much for supporting me, okay? And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.